Hi guys and welcome along to another of my course vlogs and it's a little bit different this one because it's an away day. I went out on a three day golf break with my dad, stayed at uh, the Cotswolds Club in Chipping Norton and uh, just really enjoyed three days of brilliant weather and golf. Uh, it wasn't the best golf in terms of the scoring but uh, I really did enjoy it nonetheless. As you can see, first hole is a par four and we have got down to the green and we do have an opportunity here for the par, that's it, rolls it in and we're off to a good start here. This is the second round of the three. I only recorded the second round. Uh, as you can see off the tee though, from the second drive, the old problems are still already starting to uh, settle in. Uh, driver has been my problem as of late and then we scuttle this eight iron into the trees on the right hand side it's a difficult pin to reach actually with the drive that i had and then the dreaded rebound off the tree there's another shot gone and we have to play out sideways to get ourselves back in play got the wedge in from here and unfortunately that is going to come up a little bit short and we'll need a wedge again into the green that's a, a decent effort but the uh, score is already racking up here on the second hole we're going to put this one in for a triple unfortunately okay so let's move on to the par 3 third lovely hole this you can't see it but there's a, a lake in front of the hole uh, we, you do have to carry this green which we did, left us with a long putt. We get it relatively close, but still going to leave us with a lot of work to do to make par. And unfortunately, we drift just wide of the target. But a bogey on the card, on a par three, is not really a, an issue, especially when it's quite a tough hole as that one was. Par four fourth, hit the drive down the right-hand side, uh, it's flirting with a bunker that's down that side. Luckily, don't quite reach it. Reach for the gap wedge, as you can see, the marker there on the right-hand side. We're about 100 yards away and get it within distance for a birdie put here. Get in, get in. And we <laughs> flirt with the hole, but it has gone a little bit past. Unfortunately, I pushed that right. How to turn a birdie into a bogey. Right, part five here, hole five. As I said earlier, driver really has not been my friend as of late, and it's still <laughs> giving me trouble here on the fifth. Such a terrible lie here. It wouldn't matter what club I'd got in my hand. I was just trying to get it back out into the fairway, giving myself an option to play the next shot. Fortunately, we've missed the footage of the next two shots, which were both seven irons. I was just trying to keep the ball in play and then out to this wedge into the green. Land that in pretty well, but it does run on through. Leaves us with a tricky putt down the hill towards the flag. I was trying realistically not to overestimate this, as you can see the slope as it goes away from the hole. Uh, but again, Another double bogey carded and uh, that is going to give us a tricky comeback through the last. There we go. We're having to reload here. Three off the tee and we've sprayed that one right. I'm actually using my dad's driver today as well on this uh, particular round because he's got a Cobra F8 like me but mine's a draw biased one and I felt that his might uh, give me a little bit more stability uh, and we'll see how that goes over the course of the next few rounds I'm not going to suggest that uh, things will change quickly as we bump a, a four iron down there and get, get ourselves within gap wedge range fortunately that is just slightly short of the green 60 degree wedge in hand because I know I've got to stop this quick Unfortunately, I decel through and uh, we end up here on the edge on the fringe with the 56, which is actually a pretty damn good chip. 
But if you've been counting along, you'll have realised that unfortunately with that three off the tee, we end up with a quad on this hole. Not good. 11 over through here. Hole seven decides to take off the uh, the jumper. Uh, for some reason, I was feeling particularly warm. It wasn't the right strategy, as you'll see from the next hole. But at least we got the flamingos out for a, for a, a, a quick moment during this game. Uh, a couple of good shots on this hole, and we uh, managed to tap in here for a par and stabilise the round a little bit. Par three here, lung one, 176 yards, five iron in hand, and I've dragged that a little bit left and into the bunker. Got a bit too much sand out of that. You'll see that I also clipped the face of the bunker on the way out. And then we are left here with another chip on. Uh, 56 degree once more. The put is left to the side. And unfortunately, it is another double bogey carded. We are now 13 over going through hole 9. Drive off this par 4 is out right. And we're blocked out by these trees. I've got the 7 iron hoping that we can get over the top but come out of it and uh, that is uh, not going to make its way too far towards the hole so 56 degree wedge in hand again leaving it short and having to bump here with the gap wedge which is uh, a pretty pretty good shot to be honest <laughs> nearly putting that one in and we'll just tidy that up at the uh, the flag there for a bogey. Right, so moving into the back nine, hole 10 here is a chance for an ace. It's a par three, 153 yards, and I've got an eight iron in hand. It is a pretty good tee shot, if I'm being honest, uh, but it does leave us with a putt. And Dad's stood in the way, not realizing that the camera's mounted on the uh, trolley on this occasion, so you don't get to see the uh, the puts too well but it is a par we do tidy up there and head out to the uh, par 5 11 for decent drive but on this hole you actually need to be quite far right because of the way that the the ball feeds down to the left hand side and unfortunately i cut across that seven iron trying to drag it around the corner left us with this really really tr tr tricky uh, situation underneath the tree and tops that one there on our third shot fourth shot into the green here is with the seven iron and it's a very very decent shot but it is going to be slightly long and we'll need to chip back across got the gap wedge trusty gap wedge uh, but unfortunately that one is left a little bit long as well and gives us quite a bit of work to do here with the putter and we push that one right of the flag and it's another double bogey on the card. Hole 12 is a par 4, 257 yards. Right conditions, right day. If my driver was working, this would be drivable for me. Um, but nonetheless, we head into the green here with a 56 degree wedge. Just trying to bump it in close. Leaves it a bit wide of target. Uh, but it has given us the opportunity here to card another par. Uh, as we'll just tidy that up on the other side of that longer putt. Right, par 5 again, hole 13, stroke index to 508 yards, and to be honest it was playing more like 650 uh, because of the conditions. Not a good drive. 4 iron was better into the centre of the fairway, uh, but perhaps not really got a huge amount of distance out of it. So we pick out the 4 iron again, and it's another scuttler, just not really covering the ball uh, at this point in the game. Uh, so we pick out the 4 iron again, and we scuttle it down the right hand side, get quite a bit of run into this hollow, and the 56 degree is pushed out around the tree to the right. Bump it in with the wedge again. But we've left it quite a distance from the hole. And as you can see, quite a tricky putt in terms of uh, the, uh, the distance. Well, I think we did relatively well there with that putt and just tied it out. But it is a triple on the scorecard. Par 4, 14th. 
Stroke index 8, 394 yards. It's a dog leg to the left, and I've sprayed this one out right towards the bunker. And once again, we've come up just ahead of it. So lucky again on a par 4. Take a 4 iron from there, and that leaves us green side here with a gap wedge. Uh, if you've watched some of my other videos, you'll know that I'm pretty handy with the gap wedge chipping in to the green. And that was not a bad attempt uh, to get us you know, a decent score here on this hole. And we clean things up with the putter. Fist bump because we know we deserve that after such a horrendous hole last time out with a triple. Moving into the 15th, it's a par 3 again, 124 yards, but playing more like about 150 with the wind. A smash and eight iron in. Uh, does come up slightly short, but uh, gives us a chance at least. Good put here on length. Just to lag it up there. And then we'll tidy this one up for another par on the card. And we're driving across that green here on hole 16. And as you can see, today's drive is a push out right. I know what I've been doing wrong with my driving and we'll tidy that up in the course of the next few rounds. Uh, the four iron here is sprayed left yeah. as uh, I get it covered up with the uh, out of that lie and we've got a gap wedge into the green which is a really good shot gives us a chance with the putt but we're walking it we know that it's not going in and it's a bogey on the card hole 17 par 4 stroke index 4 431 yards and you can guess it yes we've sprayed it out right Got a seven iron in hand here, just trying to put it back into play. Uh, not a great shot, if I'm honest. Uh, was kind of leaning off the ball, and I've got a, a, a bit of missing footage there of the next seven iron that puts us into this position with the pitching wedge. That was a decent shot, probably not flighted high enough, but as you can see, it did get us in pretty good range to the flag. Decent put again. And we'll just tidy this one up for a double bogey. So here we go, heading into the last. The drives have been going out right most of the day. And on the last, we decided to put one down the left-hand side. And it was pretty short, to be honest. It was only about 125 yards we hit that drive. Seven iron just to get us back in play. Uh, then onto the wedge. That should hopefully put us closer to the flag. And let's try and check out of here with a semi-decent score at least. Uh, missed that to the left. And we'll just tidy this up for our final bogey of the day. A great game. Brilliant to be out there with my dad playing some golf. At a fantastic venue. Great value for money. We had their dinner, bed and breakfast golf break rate and we had three rounds of golf all for 150 pounds and we got our room upgraded in for the bargain i'll certainly be going back to visit this course and hopefully play some better golf next time round. that being said you can obviously see by the scorecard there was some glimpses of my usual form the biggest issue i had on the day was that i just couldn't get off the tee and as we know, that compounds the issues, especially when you're playing on some of the longer par fives. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel too.